Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next live attack video. And the last one I did got a huge response. It seems like you guys want me to continue doing these. So I'm recording this next attack live. Uh, probably not going to be the closest war, just judging on the first few hours of it. Uh, but still, they have some, you know, decent bases. So definitely going to, you know, have some fun uh, attacking wise at least. Um, so looking at this base, I was having a little trouble deciding at first. This is actually their bottom Town Hall 10, so they actually have pretty well upgraded bases all around. You can see it has the level 3 Infernos. Um, as far as what I was thinking about doing, these Infernos are kind of close together, so I was thinking something with bowlers for a while, but I just think this area has to just be loaded with giant bombs in these little crevices within the core. And because of that, I'm going to try Valks, which have a little more HP. They move quicker. I think there's a better chance of them getting the job done. So the plan is this. Um, a great qu queen walk opportunity here. I'm going to drop down a wizard to get these two buildings. A giant to tank just momentarily. My queen behind it with four healers. Let her take out those two point defense. As soon as they go down, I'll drop a hog. I'll get the CC lure. The queen will start moving this way. I'll have the poison. I also have a rage for my queen as needed. Um, with the expo on her, she might need the uh, rage to deal with the CC troops, but it should also last long enough to deal with these two point defense. So hopefully I don't have to use the ability, but I have it if needed. I'll just let her keep walking down here. The great thing is she can reach both of those air defenses at the bottom. So, I mean, this guy was probably thinking he won't be attacked by air, which is probably right, but still you want to have those air defenses in a good spot because if the queen can take them out too easily, um, a queen walk's going to be pretty powerful against your base. So uh, the queen can reach that air defense. Uh, um, yeah, she can reach that. So that's going to help. It won't be an issue for my healers. And she should continue to theoretically walk all the way up here if everything goes right. But as, as right around here, if she looks like she's doing good, I'm going to start with my Valks on the top right here. Um, at the beginning, I'll have a few minions here and a wizard here to take out just a few buildings, get the funnel created uh, at the beginning. And then uh, after the queen's uh, looking good, I'm dropping down a giant just to tank initially. Um, like 16 Valks, I have a CC with a wall breaker in it as well, um, in the four Valks in the CC, and then like 12 of my own, as, as well as my king. Uh, he'll go in with the Valks as well. So everything's coming in here. I'm going to basically heal them really early, put my heal like right there. That way they're going to be pretty much full health as they move through the, through the base here. If I have a leftover poison, I'll use it on the heroes. Um, and just let them make their way through. They should be pretty much full health. I'm going to drop my jump like kind of far back like that. So that way, I think the Valks will go from one compartment to the other, probably go here first, then go over here, because if the jump is far enough back, um, even if they're by this wizard tower, and if it extends to right there, they should be able just to take it and go to that other inferno. So there might be a lot of giant bombs, but I have a lot of Valks, and I think under rage, because I have two rages for them, I'll have one right here and one like in here, and I think the two rages will get the infernos taken out. Uh, so that'll be kind of the crucial point in the attack, but I think it will happen. I have like uh, eight hogs or nine hogs for this area to take out some of those point defense while they're distracted. And hopefully the queen will make her way all the way up, he all the way up here. She should help with cleanup. And that pretty much will take care of the whole base except for like this one little compartment, which should go down one way or another. So anyway, that's the plan. We'll see how it works. We'll take a look at the replay after I do the attack um, because I know you guys want to see kind of my reflection on how everything went, so we'll be sure to look at that. But anyway, let's load up Clash and get this attack going. Okay, so we got the Valks, the everything looks good, I have all our spells, the heroes, um, and then yeah, I think everything is good. I have the four archers for the corner builders huts. Um, always a good thing to have, you don't want to run out of time there. So I made that preparation. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it looks like I have everything. Um, We'll go ahead and get this attack going. We're looking at number 13. Uh, looks like we have a UA right there. They're pretty much two-starring R9, so I don't think it's going to be that close of a war. Um, but anyway, one of the first, or the second Town Hall 10 attack on our side. Um, just make sure I have everything. I'm going to start off with the minions, the wizard, then the wizard here, and the giant, the queen. And from there, everything will get going. Okay, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and start this wish me luck, guys. Hopefully I can keep the three star streak going since the return of the live attacks, make it two live attacks in a row. So let's see about that. 
Okay. Let's get the minions going up top here. One, two. Let's get this wizard going. Right there. Wizard there. Let it take that out. Giant queen. Let's let the giant die. One, two, three, four. Um, everything's going down. Let's get that hog going in. All right, get the poison. Uh, might have to use a rage here. Um, uh, yeah, let's get that rage down. Right there, come on, stay up, queen. Yep, she's good, she'll keep walking. Um, yeah, everything's looking good. The rage is still affecting that. We can probably... Um, let's drop this wizard right there. Help things go down. I'll start the Valks in just a moment as soon as the queen looks okay. She should get that archer tower. Come on, step up. Get that archer tower. Okay, I'm going to keep an eye on her, but I think we're good. Um, I'm going to pop the ability, actually. All right. Boom. All that's down. Let's get the poison. Let's use a rage on the queen. We got to keep her up. Um, heal. Jump. And we'll have this rage ready. Boom. There's the rage. One, two, three. One, two, two, three. One. Um, King's ability. Oh, hard to tell at this point. Come on, get that last Inferno. Uh, it's still up by a little bit. Um, the Queen is up as well. This one's going to be close. Let's get cleanup down. Let's not get caught rubbernecking this attack. Uh, come on, get that Inferno. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I think we ran out of troops here. Um, I think that was the right decision to keep the Queen up. She, she's going to get a little more taken out, but the healers are going down. Um, we can get a minion there. Yep, this is going to be a time issue. Uh, well, actually, everything's going to go down anyway with the Inferno still up in the Expos. So anyway, that's that. Uh, looks like not going to be a three-star for me, unfortunately. Uh, you know, a tough base, I think, still with my relatively low-level heroes to take out a base with the level three Infernos. I was right about all those giant bombs being there, so I don't think bowlers would have done very well against this base. But anyway, I don't know if we can put this minion anywhere. Just put it right there, I guess. It looks like it's going to be about a 90% or so. Uh, so we'll take a look at the replay, see kind of how the plan went, what changes I would have made looking back on it now. So um, that's that. 89%, two-star. Not bad, but would have liked to three-star that base. So anyway, um, yeah, not a whole lot of people on either. So anyway, let's take a look at the uh, replay and uh, see how this thing ended up going. So to start it off, we have the minions up top, the wizard getting that funnel going at the beginning. All that was really fine. Um, nice try, yeah. Four giant bombs, yeah. Uh, that did hurt. I don't know what you would do against that, really. I guess maybe try to avoid the core or kind of do do kind of a sneaky uh, queen walk that goes you know into the base. A tough core to deal with when you have four giant bombs there. But not making excuses, I should still be 3 starring these types of bases, to be honest. Anyway, though, the poison goes down. Um, whenever you see a Valk and a Baby Dragon both, that's typically a sign that you need to use that Rage. My Rage was almost too late, but actually, actually, no, it was okay. Got it down, the Queen took everything out, but it was late enough that the Queen still got some value for it. Because uh, she still was able to be healed up uh, by the Raged healers for quite a while. I went ahead and dropped that Wizard to speed things up, try to get that Army Camp taken out. So she can go directly to that um, Archer Tower. So right here, the two-point defense, both kind of Town Hall 10 level. The Archer Tower not quite maxed, but still uh, better than a Town Hall 9 Archer Tower. So with the Expo Honor, even with the four healers, because she's moving, she's getting low, had to pop the ability right there. And then from there, I kind of took my attention over to the Valks and the, uh, the King. Sent all that stuff in. Uh, there's the poison uh, on the heroes. That rage was so close on the queen, but I think it was the right decision. She'll stay up a little bit longer, get a few more defenses. Um, there goes the king, the Valks, everything making its way on in. I think the giant bombs just destroy them without a heal, especially. Um, 
yeah, right there. They're going to make their way in, but uh, the giant bombs take out all those Valks by the Inferno. Almost went down, though, half health, so not bad. Uh, the king goes in, takes everything out in that compartment. So got the one Inferno compartment cleared out, but just didn't have enough to get the middle of the base there. And the healers are going down. The queen's going to peter out right here. So uh, tough, tough stuff, but uh, I definitely can learn from it. And I think looking back on this attack, probably the changes I would have made would have been um, the queen walk was good. I think even with the two rages, it was still worth it to uh, get that kind of value. But I don't know, maybe try to uh, do a little more with some spells like a freeze on the inferno and a heal for all those giant bombs for the Valks. I probably could have saved that uh, heal. Maybe if I found a way to use one less rage on my queen walk, I could have... Uh, done the same spells on my Valks, but just waited on that first heal and dropped it on the Inferno with a freeze. But still, it's tough because both Infernos were up. So if you freeze one, the other still was uh, targeting your Valks. So maybe come in from up top left and get the Inferno Towers one at a time. That might have been a better option. Um, just hard to know against this base. Um, but we're still, still developing attacks at Town Hall 10. Maybe some miners would have worked out. Although with all the giant bombs and the HP near those Infernos, Actually, it probably wouldn't have worked out that well with miners. So anyway, pretty close. A few tweaks uh, probably, probably would have gotten the three star. And hopefully whoever uh, attacks this base next can clean it up. So hope you guys like the live attack. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. How you would have taken on this base possibly. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.